children now let's talk about another long composition that you get in the writing skills section of your paper uh, that is report writing all right report writing again is for 5 marks and uh, let's talk about it now a report is a written account of an incident heard seen done or experienced and meant to be published okay published either in the newspaper or in the school magazine a good report must have a good introduction complete reporting means all important information should be given and a proper conclusion now one more thing that i would like to tell you here is that your report should include chronological events you know chronological order of events or happenings uh, which you are reporting okay it is about something which has already taken place right so uh, now let's see the distribution of marks that we have in report writing it is for 5 marks format 1 mark content 2 marks organization of ideas 1 mark and accuracy of grammar and spelling again 1 mark exactly the same the way you had in article writing now the next is types of report you have two types of reports in your syllabus one is the report for school magazine which you are supposed to write for your school magazine and another one is newspaper report now the only difference is in the format if you have to write the report for school magazine the format includes only headline which you give in the center uh, heading and then in the next line by line comes like by name of the writer okay now for newspaper report of course heading in the center then byline exactly the same way you did in school magazine but there is a difference like in a newspaper report on the left hand side you need to mention date as well as place place of the incident okay please don't get confused you are supposed to mention the place of the incident which you are reporting Uh, uh, now let's talk about certain important points that you need to remember when you write a report first of all Uh, see you are reporting an event or an incident that has already taken place it means that simple past tense has to be used past report is always written in the past tense especially when it is a um, uh, written for magazine but if it is a newspaper report then there can be mixed tenses also sometimes you know sometimes you are giving the account of an eye witness so you will put it in double inverted commas and you will give it in the present tense right a uh, next is like any other composition report is also divided into three paragraphs first paragraph is the introduction and the introduction should definitely mention the incident reported its time date and place date place date date time place this is the order that you need to follow okay second paragraph details of the incident causes why it happened conse consequences uh, the outcome of it effects if there were any guest in case in case you are reporting an event a function that has taken place in your school so in place of any guest steps that you took for preparation activities people involved relevant details so all relevant details like this here i have tried to jot down certain examples you know which will help you to know what all is to be accommodated in the body of the report and last but not the least the third paragraph is the concluding paragraph where you need to give like reactions or statements of people if in case some calamity has happened or something you know so uh, any promises that are done by the authorities the steps uh, that have been taken by the authorities all that are written as the conclusion of your report of course the report has to be written in the third person only it, it can't be first person account and yes the word limit is 120 to 150 words like that of article writing all right so i hope that uh, now you'll be able to write so please be careful about these points which i have told you here and yes i'm sure you will be able to write a good report practice well study hard still if you face any difficulty you can always ask me through the comment box bye bye for now